there. Welcome back to another episode of The Sulfur Story. It's me, Dr. Benji FM. Now, today's episode is going to be awfully interesting. We're playing quite a strong team, as you can see. Uh, but we played Chelsea first and then Olympiakos in the Europa League. Now, I mentioned last episode that I would tell you who we play if we beat Olympiakos. It's either Anderlecht or Bayern Munich. So, uh, the, today... We start, I mean, today is a double upload day. So today we start the journey with the possibility of playing Bayern Munich. And wouldn't that be embarrassing? So let's see if we can get there. As mentioned, though, we played Chelsea first. We haven't played any games since the last episode. Uh, we currently sit quite comfortably in 11th place in the Premier League. It's quite tight there, but I feel at home with my skin. That doesn't make any sense. Chelsea in 6th place. Uh, hopefully we get a win today. And it catapults us a little higher up that league table. The European spots are still on the agenda. Probably not my agenda, but someone's agenda. So the team for today, Marky Parky in goal, Jao Paolo, Frank Kovac and Kovacs at the back. Eckhart and Vidal just in front. Kokan Hayek sitting in front of them. Tiedemann is the Trocatista in behind Peters. Barry on the left, Peter on the right. Right, uh, Alec could play, but I want to save him for the Europa game. And hopefully today we go out there and I put in a good performance. There's so much traffic outside. Okay, then into the games we go. As you can see, Chelsea in seventh place, not having the greatest of seasons. I've dropped off quite a lot actually in recent years. I haven't been like competing for a league title or anything. It's been Arsenal, City, and uh, Manchester United, as well as Tottenham, that have been really fighting for it. And uh, and yeah, let's see how we get on then today. Chelsea, the opposition. I do believe we've had a decent result against Chelsea recently. So uh, if we can do that again happy days i mean probably won't though chances are we won't do that well i mean we're not that good against good teams yeah that's quite negative but i'd rather be negative and truthful than not negative and we're at half time i mean that has flown by i'm happy with the performance so far keep it up I mean, that's that's all you need to say look we're nil nil keep it at nil nil i'll take nil nil the nil nil against chelsea is a good result We've got Pae, Dimitri Pae. I just don't think you understand. We do understand. All right, you've been going on about it all fucking season. We know all about Pae now. I mean, this is, it's no relevance to today's game. It just came into my bind. My bind. My brain and mind. The bind. Okay, this is literally the first highlight of the game. If they score from it, I'm going to be annoyed. I know they're going to score from it. Marky Parky saved it. It was never in doubt that he'd save it. Seriously, it's been so dull. There's been nothing, nothing's happened in this game at all. I'll make a change in the middle because he's got a little bit of an injury cropped up. But uh, yeah, no, this is not a highlight, is it? No, no, no. Say, oh, it, Barry. Now, this could be a counter-attack. Kendall Peters is away. Kendall, go on, my man. Peter, if we never goal. Barry, Barry, Barry. He's at the white beam. He's at the bloody white beam. <sighs> Just smash the back of the net. Break that equipment. No. Last chance of the game. If they do something from this, blow the whistle, referee. Blow it. Blow it. Blow the whistle. Come. Don't you dare. Don't you pig in dare. Chelsea nil, Salford nil. Good point. Bloody hell. One. That is the quickest first game I think we've ever had in the Salford story. So, I mean, it's over. We now go to the Europa League fixtures. Olympiakos. First leg. Let's see how we get on. This could be under 10 minutes this episode, which would be unlikely, but possible. Oh, another injury for Kokang Hayek. Yeah, of course. Of course it is. I'm not just getting annoyed, but Ross from Friends, Sandoval, Peter Phillips, Jeff Thomas, Alberto Seri, Luke Shaw, and now Kokan Hayek. I've got loads of players unregistered because we don't have enough youth, like, homegrown players. How are we going to beat Olympiacos? Play Arsenal after that as well. That's in a later episode today. <sighs> To be fair, it's quite a good point against Chelsea, so I shouldn't be so negative. I actually put us up to 10th. Oh, the Dizzy Heights. 10th <laughs> is Dizzy Heights now because we've not been 10th for ages. We've we'll not been in the top 10 all season. Uh, Jeff Thomas has resumed full training. Completely unfit to play, though. So I'm just going through the team for the Olympiacos game. You may notice I've left the position open. I've got James Taylor in the harp as striking options. You'd think, oh, that's all right, they've only got loads of strikers. So Sandoval and Seri are both injured currently. And I've not registered Kendall Peters or Igor. So I don't actually have a striker that is capable of playing in Europe. I mean, I have two strikers, as we can all see there. So the half or James Taylor is going to have to play in the Europa League. Do I go for youth or experience? Oh, God. I think for this first game, at least, we go with the harp. I mean, what have I done? I can't even play, like, I can't... Oh... Let's see how we get on. Olympiacos, first leg. How have I managed to not register the other... Okay, they're playing quite a defensive formation. I'm hoping they're not very good. I'll be completely honest with you. I don't know if they're any good, but I'm hoping they're not very good. Right, calm approach. We're going for the calm approach. Calmly say, look, I completely believe in you. You've got what it takes. Easy easy pickings. I can't believe I've not registered... Well, the Harp's a great striker. He's the record goal scorer for Salford. So, and he's going to prove that today. They're coming forward with it. 
they've crossed Marky Parky's done well. Okay, so back in Europe, uh, Salford versus Olympiakos. Apparently we had the first shot and it was on target, which is good news. But as we come back to it here, you can see Olympiakos have got the ball. Peter, what have you just done? Forgo not on away goal. No away goals. That's I forgot about that. That's important. In fact, we'll go defensive to not have any away goals scored against us. That's the strategy. Think Italian. They're coming forward with it. I just, I just mentioned it. They've scored an away goal. We've got to score a goal. So you can see here they've uh, they've slipped the ball through. We've not marked it, and they, again we're playing offside, which is a brave thing to do. Marky Parky's guessed and got it wrong. No longer defensive. We're just going to have to go. I mean, what's the opposite of defensive? Oh, of course he is. <sighs> Peter's injured again. What's wrong with him? Tiedemans comes on. Alec goes on that right side. I mean, what's wrong with Peter? Why is Peter just injured all the time? Oh, I've bruised my elbow or something. What's he done? I'm playing the harp up front in Europe. Why am I expecting a goal? <sighs> I just... It's very stressful being a manager. So it's a free kick. Olympiakos. Parky's done well. Flipping heck. This is the same highlight. They've got a man over. Barrios, he's, he's going to... I can feel it. I cannot believe it. I mean, that Bayern Munich game. Don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about the Bayern Munich game. Why not? Because we won't be there. It's just shambolic from start to finish. Just absolutely shambolic. Not only do I not actually call up a proper striker, we then play the first team against, against Olympiakos and go down 2-0. First half. I mean, come on. I'd change the system, but to what? Where's the passion, lads? Where is it? Where's all the passion? Like, I'm formation man for a reason. Let's fix this. I mean, I've never seen it before. So, let's try it out. So, I've changed things. We've put the park, the, the park, the park, the park. I meant to say the harp. We've put the harp up there on its own, and we have packed the midfield full of athletes. Oh, and Yuri Tillemans is there who is older now, to throw in deep in our half, Olympiakos with it. I mean, it was quite a quick game, the Chelsea game. If Olympiakos win this 5-0, it's going to be quite a long episode, isn't it? It's going to take quite the comeback in part two. F***ing hell. 3-0. Olympiakos have come here. They've said 3-0. I've gone, no. They've gone, yeah. Don't want to see it. Let's just go attacking. All right. Right. In fact, let's push, push, these, let's push these two on. And you. Push you on. And you as well. Formation man! We're going with this. I've run out of ideas. I mean, clearly not, actually. I've clearly not run out of ideas. I've just clearly run out of good ideas. I'm just looking for a goal now. I just want a goal. Defending's fine. Just get us a goal. They've got a free kick. Ball played in. Kovacs with a header clear. I say clear. What does that even mean anymore? They're coming forward. Filippini has, has played it. 4-0. 4 nil. It's not good, is it? It's not good. I mean, there's a highlight after the goal. I mean... No, there isn't. I don't want to see it again. Oh, there is a highlight after the goal. Let's see how this goes. I mean, we need the goal. 3-0 away from home is possible. I feel like we, maybe we need a different formation for Europe. Because the initial formation was a problem. I mean, come on, boys. This could be a goal here. We're back in this. Don't, no, it's going to be... Oh, don't tell me. And I've got it back. Barry, now. This is a, a, one of our only attacks of the game. Ball played in. Alex there. Yeah. I just don't want to play anymore. I just don't want to play. I mean, thanks for thanks for being here, everyone. I don't want to play. I'll just carry carry on without me. Wait, so I left. We didn't even concede another one. Well, apparently, <clears throat> apparently they're better off without me. 4-0 to Olympiakos. We've had the better of the game. I mean, that makes it more infuriating. Let's see how long Peter's out for then. <laughs> oh, why? So Peter's out for uh, three months. Speak about the injury. Don't worry about your injury. I know these things can be frustrating. Focus on your recovery. This injury won't get the better of me. I'll make sure of it. They f do, though, don't they? Every, how many have you had? I mean, you've only had that many, but you've been piling up over the last few years. He's definitely had more injuries than that. He's a liar. We play Arsenal next. Next episode, Arsenal and the second leg against Olympiakos. I mean, later today. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, a point against Chelsea and a battering by Olympiakos, do leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Let's see if the chair does any better against Olympiakos in the second leg, because apparently it doesn't concede. So, excellent news. I'll see you then. We love with care. We'll spend you until next time. Goodbye. I mean, what are we what do I do? What do I do about that?